In this lesson, I'll cover moving around your document and selecting words all by voice. These are important components of editing your documents by voice and of correcting the mistakes that Dragon makes. First, moving. You can move around your document by characters, words, sentences, paragraphs, and lines, like this. Move down four lines. Move up two lines. Move right five words. Move left four characters. Move down four sentences. Move right one word. You can say a number between 1 and 20 when you're using these commands. And if you just say move up one without specifying line, character, or paragraph, Dragon will assume you mean line. So to move up 10 lines, just say move up 10. You can move around your document by saying go to top of document or go to bottom of document to jump to the top or the bottom. And you can do the same thing by saying go to beginning of line or go to end of line, like this. Go to beginning of line, go to end of line, go to top of document, go to bottom of document. You can jump right to a particular place in your document by saying insert before or insert after plus the words where you want to go to. So for example, if I want to insert the cursor before job, I say insert before job. If I want to insert the cursor, that is move the cursor to after keyboard, I say insert after keyboard. Once the cursor is moved to the right place, simply dictate and the words you say will appear. And mouse. It's kind of like using a mouse and keyboard. With a mouse, you click where you want the cursor and then type to make the words appear. With Dragon, you use the move commands to move the cursor where you want, or the insert before or insert after commands, and then when the cursor is the right place, you dictate and the words you say appear. Just like you can select text with the mouse by dragging over it, you can select text by voice using the select command. You can say select plus forward or back, characters, lines, words, or sentences. It's kind of like moving, like I just showed you early in this lesson, but you say select instead of move. Select next five words. Select next three paragraphs. Select back four characters. The easiest way to select is to say select plus the word or words that you want, like this. Select speech recognition. Select Vice President. Select Walnut Creek. You might have noticed that this menu pops up. This gives you other options that Dragon might think you want in case you're correcting mistakes. In a future lesson, we'll cover how to use this menu, for, but for right now, I'll just ignore it. If you want to select multiple words, you can say select first word through last word, like this. Select bank through California. Select computer through mouse. You can also say from, select from so-and-so to so-and-so. Select from computer to typing. So as you've seen, there are numerous ways to move around and select. The easiest way to move around is the insert before and insert after commands. And the easiest way to select is select plus the word or words that you want. And if the word or words that you want is more than two or three, say select first word through last word. Now with the mouse, if you want to replace some text, you can just select it, like I select the word letter, and type over it. The same idea is the case with speech. You use your voice to select, and then you dictate over what you want to change. select people, individuals. So in that case, I selected the word people and dictated over it with the word individuals. As you're working to edit your document, feel free to use a combination of voice commands and keyboard or mouse, whatever it takes to get your work done. In the next lesson, we'll build on these moving and selecting commands to show you in more detail how you can edit documents by voice.